tonight, while Lucy is on vacation, our stars are Van Johnson and Jan Sterling with Marcel Dalio and Judy Meredith in At Your Service. Brought to you by New Formula Whisk. Whisk puts its strength where the dirt is. Whisk. there is one of the reasons. Oh, of course, there are others. Many others. Yeah, Paris is just full of lovely scenery. Well, it wasn't easy getting to live over here. I'm not a writer or a painter or anything like that. I just run a business, a business based on a simple proposition that the most helpless people in Paris are Americans. Look. See what I mean? Unfortunately, there aren't too many helpless Americans around just now. My service is not in too great a demand, but... Hello. Well, business is bad. But life is good. No, no, sorry, no parley français, monsieur, no parley, no country, no country French, sorry. Goodbye. They say comme ça toute la matinée, mon vieux. C'est impossible. What's up? Phone company, landlord. Phone company, landlord. Hello? No, not James Devlin. Very sorry, incorrect number. This a bougie yama restaurant. Goodbye. Bien <laughs> joué. <laughs> Not too bad. What happened to our secretary today? She's sick. Sick? Sick of working without getting paid. She quit. Sensible girl. What keeps you so loyal and devoted? Oh, Jimmy, you offend me. Compared to our high esteem for one another, what is an insignificant thing like money? Everything. I agree. Look what just came. Please reserve suite. Palais Ritz Hotel, flight 107, arriving early noon Thursday. Gloria Miles. The Gloria Miles. That one? There is only one Gloria Miles. Yeah. And today she's all ours. Michelle, the famine has ended. You mean she may buy us lunch? Lunch? A Poughkeepsie plumber can buy us lunch. Gloria Miles is going to buy us a rosy future. Just for picking her up at the airport? She's a big star. A pace setter. Why, if she said bee stings were good for people, millions would go out and get stung. You see what I mean? No. It's beautiful. We meet Gloria Miles. We become friends of Gloria Miles. Good friends. Then we ask our good friends to take out an ad in the Paris papers. One of these gorgeous pictures of Gloria Miles flashing that famous toothpaste grin saying, if you need help in Paris, call James Devlin. I did. What do you think? Darling, I'm yours. Let's go. <laughs> Where could she be? That's the last of them. Are you sure it's the right flight? Flight 107, I'm sure. Excuse me, please. Are you Mr. Devlin? Yes. Oh, good. I'm Penny Miles. You're supposed to meet me. But, uh, where's your mother? I thought we were supposed to meet her. Yes. I don't blame you for being disappointed. It must be awful to expect mother and get me. Then your mother is not coming. Oh, yes, she'll be in from New York tomorrow. I've just come from school in Switzerland. Oh, well, welcome to Paris. We'll get your luggage and go have some lunch. Well, that's the only luggage I have. <laughs> oh, no? That's all. Mother gets everything over in one fell swoop, being with me and buying my clothes for the whole year. I think you look very charming. You don't have to be polite. I know I look like a goon. Oh, let's get some lunch, huh? My mother is a star, the sex symbol of America, and I represent the unhappy reminder of advancing age. Mm -hmm. Just how old are you, Penny? 
Well, it is confusing. When I was eight, Mummy said I was four. When I was 11, I was supposed to be eight. Soon I'll be 18, but Mother's holding the line at a safe 15. 15. <laughs> well, it's a lovely afternoon. What would you like to do? That's up to you. What do you say we go to the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower started in 1887, completed in 1889. 1,710 steps to the summit, constructed mainly... I get it, I get it. Okay, you've had the Eiffel Tower. How about the Louvre? The Louvre. Open 10 to 5 every day but Tuesday. Admission, one new franc. The main attractions are the Mona Lisa... Okay, the... okay, no more suggestions. <laughs> you could show me, Paris. Tell us what you'd really like to do, Penny. Mother wouldn't approve. Our mother for today. All right. I'll tell you what I'd really like to do. I'd like to see the real Paris, visit the left bank, do the rounds of the jazz cellars, dance in a bow musette, really live it up. That's what I'd like to do. You're right. Mother wouldn't approve. And we would not want to upset Mother, would we? Oh, that's okay. You've both been very nice, and I shouldn't have put you on a spot. Oh, Penny, don't Really, be I don't have to be entertained. Mother will start shopping for clothes tomorrow, and one must be fresh for one city. <laughs> 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 Now, be sure and call me if you need anything. Both my home and office numbers are on that card. Don't worry about me. I'm going to have dinner early and go to bed. You know, I'm tired after the trip. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Coffee airs, please. Hello? Can you change $300 in traveler's checks? <laughs> Services. Well, come in, come in. Oh, that'll be all, Michelle. Get that letter off right away. What letter? Okay, okay, I think of one. Well, what can I do for you? Travel reservations, sightseeing tours? Oh, no, no, monsieur. You see, I am writing a novel about Paris, and I wish to absorb the atmosphere of the nightlife. I see. I understand you are quite familiar with the gay places, and for a girl alone in Paris. <laughs> Honey, you'll be safe with me. You want all your fees, monsieur? Well, why don't we discuss that over dinner, shall we? I'm a big fan of her. Oh, she's just another movie star, but a very close friend. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. And her daughter, you and she are? Oh, no, no. She's a nice kid, but a, but a child, a mere child. But let's not talk about her, Yvonne. Let's talk about you. Uh, but uh, what is there to talk about? Baby. Hey, <laughs> Uh, I'm very tired. Let's go home. Let's. Souvenir, monsieur? Sure. Oh, he is adorable. I call him Jimmy after you. Now, where do you live? Oh, no, 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 no. You must know that. But why? You're my client. I must know your address. No, no, I think not. You see, we are just, how you say, two ships that... Pass in the night. But how do I make the pass? I don't even have your number. Don't call me. I will call you. She's right on time. 
I'll go and get the porter. Mm. Tired, Mr. Devlin? Yeah. You should have stayed home like I did. I'm fresh as a daisy. Oh, you're cute, you are. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, around. I met this sweet little French girl and we did the town. Was she uh, attractive? Oh, yeah. Young? Oh, 22, 23. But you could tell she'd been around. Do you want to see her again? Yeah, but I won't. We were just two ships that passed in the night. How romantic. Welcome back. Welcome back. How long have you been in Paris, Miss Miles? Just a tiny ten days. Barely long enough to say vive la France. Uh, is it true you'll be seeing Ralph Martin? Oh, no comment. I just love Paris. Will you be appearing on television? Television? Heavens no. Tiny screen, tiny stars. How can a man fall in love with you when you're barely bigger than his son? <laughs> Look at that performance she's giving out there. If you think hers is good, wait till you see mine. Pictures, Miss Miles. Bob, Bob, Black, she's silly questions, oh, silly am. Are you meeting your daughter this trip? My daughter. My daughter. Has anybody seen Penelope? Oh, there's my cue. Molly! Penelope! Molly! Oh, Penelope, darling, there you are. Oh, Penny, my baby. Isn't she precious? I'd have walked 6,000 miles for this. How are you, darling? Miles. Uh, step back. You're blocking Mummy, dear. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see you, Mummy. Well, let me take a look at you. My, are you grown? Please. Stoop down a little, dear. How old are you, Penny? Uh, boys, I think that's about enough. I'm a little tired from my trip. A tired, you know, a uh, fatty gay. Uh, well, uh, bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, where's Mr. Uh, uh, Devlin? Uh, Devlin. Good luck, my friend. Who needs luck when you got talent? We'll get the ad. <laughs> Hello, Miss Miles. I'm Jimmy Devlin. Well, how do you do? Well, I did choose well this time, didn't I? I hope my baby hasn't been any inconvenience. Oh, no, not at all. Well, now, if you just follow me, I'll take you to your hotel. Oh, thank you. That won't be necessary. The studio will have sent a limousine. Oh, but... Your check will be in the mail, and thank you so much for all you've done. But, Miss Miles, don't you want me to arrange theater tickets or art galleries? Well, my friends will have arranged all that. I know my way around here as well as around Beverly Hills. I know everyone, and everyone knows me. But, but you are sweet, and thank you. But, Miss Miles... Au revoir. <laughs> What happened? Another ship just passed in the night. Who needs luck when we've got talent? Yes, well, no problem. If you can't trap a bear with a lamp, try stronger bait. What are you talking about? Don't you think I hit it off rather well with Penny? Oh, you are so right. I've always been led to believe that the best way to win a mother is to be kind to her daughter. Oh, Miss Gloria Miles, sweet, please. Hey, Betty, Oh, thank you. It's busy. Well, darling, I did want to spend the first evening alone with Penny, but you're the producer, and if you think it'll help the film, I'll meet you at Maxine's at 8. All right, bye. Oh, it's so wonderful to stop being an actress and be a mother again. Oh, Penny, my precious. <laughs> I'm sagging again. <laughs> Oh, Penny, we're going to have such a wonderful time in Paris. Yakking and shopping. We'll be together every single oh, minute. Oh, wonderful, Molly. But right now, I have to go out. My producer. That's what comes of being a working woman's daughter. You don't mind? I don't mind. I don't mind at all, Mummy. You don't? Of course you don't mind. I've got to go get ready. I can try again. Hello? Here I am, Shelly. Yvonne. I am free tonight. Oh, well, that's nice, Yvonne, but uh, I, I can't tonight. Huh? What is wrong? Well, I really should take out Penny Miles. The poor kid hasn't had much fun since he's been in town. Penny Miles? But uh, I have a happy solution. We'll all have dinner together. I would love to meet the daughter of my favorite film star. Well, I... I'll meet you with the child at Le Crone Bleu at 9 o'clock. Au revoir, Jimmy. Hello, this is Penny. Hello? Why, Mr. Devlin, what a surprise. Mother would never approve this place. Oh, we're just picking.
waking up Yvonne, and then we're going to have dinner. I guess she's not here yet. Oh, my braid has come undone. Excuse me, Mr. Devlin, and I'll be right back. You're asking me out, but two's company, three's a crowd. Don't worry about me. I've taken a cab back to the hotel. Have a lovely evening, Penny. Is that not charming? Oh, no, it's terrible. I needed Penny to help me with her mother. But I thought you and Gloria Miles were such intimate friends. I've been kidding you. Needed her to do an ad for me to promote my business. The kid was my only entree. You Americans, why don't you learn from the French? Something from a woman? Give her something. What could I give Gloria Miles that she doesn't have? I read in a movie magazine that she collects old theater posters. Old theater posters? She adores them. Darling, could you zip me up? Here, Mommy, hold this. <gasps> oh, Penny! Oh, I'm Penny, sorry. Darling, how could you do it? You know how allergic I am to pool things. Once. I'm not good in front of a camera for days. You know, my eyes, my... Oh. I forgot. <gasps> oh. It's all right, darling. How could you be expected to keep up with my silly foibles? Thank you. Now, your wicked old mummy's off to Maxine's. Mm. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. Well, come in, Mr. Devlin. Thank you. Suppose you want to see my little penny? Well, not exactly. I uh, wanted to give you this, a small token of your kind patronage of our service. Hello, Penny. Well, isn't that the most sweet thing? <laughs> the sweetest. That's amazing. I collect theater posters and Sarah was missing. Is that so? Well, you have wonderful taste. Uh, why don't you sit down? I did choose well this time, didn't I? How can I ever thank you? Well, the price I ask may be very high. Ask? Uh -huh. Could you possibly see your way clear to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Very clear. Suddenly I seem very indebted to Sarah Bernhardt. Yes, we may owe her a lot. Mm. Well? Until tomorrow night? Shall we say, uh, 8.30? What a wonderful person. I've got to hand it to that Yvonne. She really knows her Gloria Miles. I think you're awful. Penny! You're just using that Yvonne to get to my mother! really did the trick. Miss Miles and I have a date tomorrow night. I can't tell you how grateful I am. How would you like to be more grateful? You have another idea? One more little present that will endear you to her forever. A French pool. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Is your mother home? I've got a surprise for her. Mother, Mr. Devlin has a surprise for you. A surprise? Jimmy, you're going to spoil me. First the posters, then dinner. Oh, get him out of here. My eyes are my skin. Oh, didn't you? Oh, didn't you? Mother, don't worry. I'll take him. How could you do that? A crazy girlfriend of mine, Yvonne. She's a big fan of yours. 
She told me about the poster, and she told me that you love poodles. Poodles? <laughs> Sante. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> magazine said she loved poodles. It must have been noodles. Well, I'm not buying her a package of noodles. She'd be fantastic. The great lady's here in person. Gloria Miles? She's here? Easy, honey. She's after me, not you. <laughs> Hi. I've come to see a man about a dog. Now, look, Miss Miles. And about the man's girlfriend, Yvonne. Yvonne? You know, I'm curious about this Yvonne, and should the opportunity present itself, I'd like very much to meet her. Well, you're in luck. Please. You know, I thought I might be. Yvonne! Oui, chérie? She's a big fan of yours. How do you do, Yvonne? Please, don't be shy. I'm not shy, madame. This is a moment I have been waiting for my whole life. Could I have your autograph? Of course. What shall I write? Anything you like. Anything I like? Jimmy, you have made me so happy introducing me to my favorite film star. Here you are, my dear. Merci, madame. I must go now, Jimmy. You are very busy. I do not want to interrupt. Please. May I ask a favor? I'd like Mr. Devlin to hear what I wrote. Oh. To a lovely young woman. With deep affection and apology for keeping her child. Mommy, mommy. Never try to fool an actress, honey. You look very pretty. But I think I like you better as a brunette. What do you think, Mr. Devlin? What are you doing? I am counting those ships that pass in the night. <laughs> it's contagious. I feel rejuvenated, boys. Absolutely rejuvenated. Paris is a tonic. Vive la France. <laughs> my daughter. Where's my daughter? Penny? Here I am, mother. That's your daughter? Yes. How old is she? Eighteen. I didn't know you had a daughter eighteen. Neither did I. Oh, Mr. Devlin. It's wonderful. Someone just whispered that we look like sisters. <laughs> Let's go, Penny. Goodbye, Mr. Devlin. Oh, why, Yvonne? Come on, Jimmy. We must hurry back to the office. There will be a lot of calls for business tonight. Oh, excuse me, Michelle. I have a little business over here I'd like to attend to. Let's see. Hello? Thank you. 